So your church is using Planning Center services to help schedule and plan their services, and you want a quick tour of how to use it. Well, you've come to the right place. First off, we recommend downloading the Planning Center Services app for iOS or Android. This will allow you to manage your schedule, access your plans, and rehearse music on the go. If this is the first time you're opening the Services app, you'll need to get logged in. If you've forgotten your password or you haven't set one up yet, click Need a Password and follow the instructions. Once your ministry leader schedules you, you'll receive an email with the dates, times, and positions you've been asked to serve. If you'd like, you can also enable push notifications from the app, so you can get a heads up that way too. However you see it, if you choose Accept, you'll be taken to the Services app to confirm. If you decline, you'll be asked to provide a reason, but it's not mandatory. It's okay to leave it blank. After you save your response, you'll find yourself on the My Schedule page. As you might expect, this is where you can find all the tools you need to manage your schedule. If you have any other pending requests, you'll see all of those here. To see the times for each assignment, tap the clock icon. That'll show you the service times and any other related times, like a midweek rehearsal. If you wanna make your ministry leader's day, you can go ahead and press accept all, or you can go through and accept or decline each request on its own. Below your pending requests, you'll see the plans that you've already confirmed to help you keep track of what's coming up. If your ministry leader sends out a sign-up sheet, you'll have the chance to sign up. When you open the sign-up sheet, you'll see a list of all the jobs that need to be done. If you tap on a position, it'll show you all the times that are connected to it, so you know exactly what you're getting into before you accept it. At the top of the My Schedule page, there's a button for adding blockout dates. When you block out a date, it just lets your ministry leader know that you're not available. So let's say you just booked a vacation. Choose the date you'll be gone, and if you'd like, you can also add the reason. Now, your leader will know not to schedule you for those times. One of the interesting things about the My Schedule page is that sometimes it doesn't just show your schedule. If anyone else in your household uses services as well, you can also see their schedules. In this case, let's say that Brandon is married to Nicole. When he selects her, he can see her scheduling info alongside of his. He can review any pending requests and can accept or decline them for her. He can see any times that she's already confirmed. Plus, he can see all of their combined blockout dates, and he can even add blockouts for both of them at the same time. In order to share schedules like this, you need to be officially set up as a household in Planning Center. As a volunteer, that's not something you can do on your own. So try out that handy dandy email leader button and ask them to get that set up for you. Next, tap your photo to check out your profile. To change any of your basic info, tap the edit button. Brandon already has a profile photo, but if you don't have one yet, this is the place to add one. And if you're just getting started in services, make sure that your email address and your phone number are both present and accounted for. Back on the main profile page, you can get another glance at your upcoming schedule, and you can subscribe to your calendar. That way, everything that you're scheduled for in services will also show up on your main calendar app. If you have any questions, go ahead and tap the help button. We want your experience with services to be a success. So whenever you need a hand, fill out a new support request to get in touch with our amazing support team.